hello guys welcome again today we'll see how to use google earth engine to extract surface water uh, water bodies from satellite image using uh, spectral indexes so uh, we will try to use sentinel image in the modified uh, normalized water index so there are many kinds of spectral indexes that are used to extract uh, water bodies from satellite image but for this tutorial we will see the modified uh, normalized water index to extract uh, water bodies for this specific area from the sentinel to satellite image so first i have already written some code here uh, from the google developer uh, code uh, repo repository so first i have we have to add our shape file or steady area here i have added my shape file in the next window to import the sentinel image so this code will import the sentinel image from the google earth engine uh, data catalog so next we will uh, filter our data or the imported sentinel image uh, with lower uh, global coverage in the for this specific uh, year so i am going to consider for this specific year and we will bound it by our study area and this will filter the uh, data by this specific uh, boundary then uh, we will filter it by uh, composite or we will use the composite or the median value of the imported uh, image pixels then uh, we will write a code that help us to uh, calculate the modified water uh, normalized water index so spectral index are uh, critical to many aspects of remote sensing uh, for almost all kinds of uh, research workers we will need to compute one or more of the spectral indexes maybe it is for image uh, classification or land use land cover classification so the most commonly used uh, formal for calculating the index is computing the normal difference between uh, two bands so in google Earth engine it provides us a helper function which is called as normalized difference uh, function this one so simply by using this uh, function or helper function you can simply calculate any kinds of index so to calculate the modified uh, normalized difference water index just uh, using the, this image the important image just use uh, this code normalized difference and we, we will use the band 3 and the band uh, 11 of sentinel to image and that and we will rename it as modified uh, normalized difference water index like this so this line of code will calculate the normalized difference uh, water index which is the modified one then uh, this value will uh, calculate the uh, ndw and the highest value will be positive one and the lowest uh, value of ndw will be negative one so uh, to extract only the uh, pixels with water body we need to specify some threshold or condition and uh, if we wanted to extract pixels with higher value of uh, modified water index we can apply uh, a threshold value to select all pixels above uh, some uh, threshold so the result of uh, this threshold will be the binary image with a pixel value of one or zero so one represents that pixels with water uh, body and uh, zero will be uh, non uh, water uh, pixels so to specify this value we need to use this uh, code so water or water body from the uh, modified normal difference water index is equal to the value of this one which is greater than zero value or the value of the output of uh, modified uh, normal difference order index which has a greater or pixel value of uh, greater than uh, zero value so here we have specified that water body as positive greater than zero uh, modified normalized difference water index so next we will specify the parameters to display the image so this one will help us to display the 
sentinel image in uh, rgb and the second uh, parameter will help us to display the water uh, surfaces in zeros in the one pixel value in color of white in the blue color so the white one shows that and then non-water pixels in the, the blue one shows the water pixels then we will write this code to add the uh, output to the map layer so the first one we will specify the location or our zoom extent in the, the uh, zoom location and the second one or this one will help us to add the image which is the satellite image or sentinel image to the map layer and the third uh, function or this one will add the water index or uh, the water bodies to the map canvas so finally we can run the code once we have written all the uh, valid codes yeah as you can see we have uh, added the layers this one is the shape file of the area you can untick it and uh, here is the water surface for this specific area we have renamed it as uh, this area and uh, we have another layer which is the sentinel image extracted or the clipper to the steady area and the water surface are uh, this one the white one shows that none water pixels and the blue colors show the uh, pixels with uh, water uh, surface so we can check that from the image as you can see uh, this area is water So from the satellite image, this is uh, the water uh, surface and also from the result of modified normalized water index uh, calculation, it shows that the blue color, which is uh, water surface. So simply we can use uh, this uh, spectral index to extract surface waters from satellite imagery. So if you have any uh, comment or question on this calculation, you can just ask me on the comment section and I will provide you the, the full description and uh, this GE code to practice by yourself. So this is all about my today's tutorial. Uh, thank you for your time.